Hello, hello. All right, everyone. So today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be um, creating the packaging for our uh, project. This is my lightsaber, um, and it's going to be a flash lightsaber. So we're going to kind of create some um, um, flat panels that can be folded into a packaged box. Uh, I also want to create like a little clear window so that you can see into the packaging. Um, very simple, but uh, uh, this is just one way that you can actually tackle this. Uh, there are multiple ways to, uh, to, to get it to uh, work. You could buy a box and then decorate it, but make sure it, it looks awesome, right? So this is probably the simplest way, I think. Um, so let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to shaded here just so that it's, uh, um, you know, a little easier to manage. And then I'm going to go to a top view and outline this thing. And I want to go ahead and put my grid snap on. So uh, grid snaps over here on a uh, PC, on a Mac. I believe it's over here on the left-hand panel. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle. So type rectangle, and I'm going to use the grid. And since my lightsaber is drawn at zero here, I can... Um, you know, use the symmetry of the object here. So just draw that rectangle, kind of outlining it. And then I'm going to switch to perspective here and I'm going to extrude curve up and using the grid snap, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and I can switch to a right view here. Yeah, it looks like it fits in there nicely. Okay. Perspective here. And then I'll just delete that rectangle. I don't need it anymore. And then what I want to do is, um, I'm going to flay this edge. I'm going to round it just so that it uh, flay edge. I'm going to set a radius of 50 millimeters. So it's about a little less than two inches. Click here, enter twice. And no, you know what? I'm not going to do that much. I'm going to hit enter again. I'm going to change the radius. I'm going to do 35. Okay. And now I'm going to select my edge, click there, hit it twice. Okay, and so I can create a little window there, so that looks good. All right, so next step I want to do is I want to draw a little rectangle for the cutout of the window. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to set my C plane. So up at the top here, if I go to C plane, this is construction plane. So this is where you're going to be drawing. So if I select this one right here, I can click on this face and it moves the grid right onto that face. So anything I draw on that, on that will now go right onto that face. So I'm going to draw a rectangle using my grid snaps, find a little spot for it. And I'm going to go up above, yeah, maybe a little bit more than half there. Okay. And see that goes right there. And I'm actually going to grab this curve and I'm going to pop it out one little set there just so that it is hovering. And then I'm going to go ahead and extrude curve back into this. And I'll go about to right there. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go split this object with this object, enter, and then I can delete this. And what that's done is it just cut away this little window here that I can now use. I'm going to delete this curve too, and I'm going to go ahead and change this to, um, to my packaging. So I'm going to create a new layer, call it package, change the color. I'm going to put it cayenne or cyan. <laughs> and change object layer, changes the color. And then I'm going to call this one um, package clear. And I'll change it to red. Okay, change object layer. Boom. All right. And I can even just turn that off because I don't need that right now. I'm going to use that in my rendering of the packaging later on. So um, I do want to make sure I, I still have that and I'm going to export it later on. Um, so next thing we're going to do is I'm going to change my view back to set C plane to world top, which gives me a top down. Um, okay. And the next setting we're going to use is called unroll surface. Okay, so if I click on this and type the word unroll surface, then I want to know on the explode and keep properties yes. So make sure that those are set the same. And again, if you have a Mac, it should be the same questions. They'll just be over here on the left. And if I hit enter, it gives me a flattened version of the packaging. Now you got to kind of look at it and go, okay, well, which side is the, I know, well, that's obviously the side. That's the side. This is going to be the top up here. Um, okay. 
feeling like this area right here is this area is this area. Just kind of eyeballing it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and type make 2D. And I'm just gonna hit OK. And that gives me, oh, no, I want more detail. Make 2D again, and let's do tangent lines. Okay, I think that, did. yes, perfect. All right, so we've got the front top combo. We've got the back and the bottom, and then these are the two sides. So um, I want to make sure that any design that I do on this um, fits into those parameters. So the next thing I'm going to do is I will uh, bring this into a, um, into a layout, uh, but I'm gonna actually color code which areas are gonna be folded versus cut. Because if I wanna use like a laser cutter or the silhouette, you're not gonna cut all of these. You might, I mean, you could score these if you're using cardstock or something, but I'm basically just gonna use them as guidelines for folding. But the exterior I want to cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and explode this. Make sure that it, or ungroup it, sorry. Ungroup it should be grouped yeah okay and then anything that is going to be cut I'm going to change the color of so um, I'm gonna now create a new fold new uh, file here and I'm gonna call it cut and I'm gonna do the red color for that so I want to make sure I'm using the bright red here so it actually should just be 255 255 255 Oh, is this HSV? I need RGB. There we go, RGB. 255 red, zero, zero. There we go, okay. And change object layer. Some laser cutters end up in the, um, oh, that's weird. Um, some laser cutters end up and uh, only cut the red. So let me go back to properties here. See, it's set aside. I'm going to change it to red. Okay. And then we're going to go through and select any of these little lines that we're going to cut. Okay. And I'll just change it to red here. Cool. And then the blue, we're gonna change back to white. Actually, we need to also get, yes, these lines as well. And I'm just gonna use my silhouette uh, to cut this out. So you do need to make sure that your packaging, if you're gonna use a silhouette, does fit into the 12 inch um, uh, size. Okay, and then this, no cuts here. These are gonna be blue. And blue, a lot of times with laser cutters at least, um, can be etched lines. And we can set these with a, a silhouette to um, have different blade depths based off of color. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in that blue color. Cool. And that'll do it for this. Next, we're gonna put it into a layout and then we're going to uh, bring it into Photoshop and um, add graphics to it. Okay, so the next step up is to create a layout. So I'm gonna type the word layout and my size here, I'm gonna use inches. Um, I'm gonna do a width of 12 and a height of, I think 20 is actually the size of the laser cutter, but I'm gonna use, uh, I think that the uh, silhouette has a long cutting mat, we can use that. So 12 by 20 here. And the number of details, I'm just gonna do one. Then I'm going to double click over here, kind of pull this like this, double click out, click on this, and then we're going to go ahead and set this as a one to one value, okay? And I might actually need to move the edges a little bit, okay? Mm-hmm, yeah, I'll just get it to fit in there. Cool. So now I can go ahead and go file. Uh, I believe export selected. And is it a PDF on this one? If it's a, yeah, there we go, PDF. 
and I'm going to call it packaging. All right. And then I want to make sure the display color is what shows up here. So that's selected there. Um, destination eight and a half by 11. No custom destination. I'm doing 12 by 20. Right. Perfect. Okay. And we just make sure our scale, everything is good here. Scale 100%, one on paper, 25.4. Okay, so that's the same. I mean, if I just change it to millimeters, it should be one on paper is one in model. Okay, margins. Okay, all that looks good. Hit okay. And then we're ready to bring it into um, a secondary program like uh, Photoshop. All right, so... Let me go to my packaging project, which will be here. And then it's under light saber. Okay. All right, so, and I've already done this. Um, so let's go ahead and just talk about what I did here. Let me zoom out. So I used, um, Photoshop and kind of created a graphic and then I applied the graphic to the object here um, These blue lines are gonna print out So if you don't want them printing out you probably need to turn them off when you export it as a PDF from Photoshop um, And I've got the lightsaber itself right here, which is um, Using the technical drawing which you all should already know how to do by this point in the in the process So I just I use the technical drawing to give it a one-to-one -one scale of the object on the back of the packaging, which I think looks pretty slick. Um, I've created and, ch and chosen a uh, typeface that goes along with the vibe here. Um, and I just took my rendered view and did a Gaussian blur on it just so that there's like an indicator of the style. You know, this is where you're going to be more creative than I was. I did this really quickly. But this can then be brought into um, the silhouette or I can even just print it out on um, some nice paper and then cut it by hand. There's not too many complex uh, lines here that I think I could uh, manage the X-Acto knife well enough to uh, make this thing look good. And then, you know, tape it together, but try to keep it as neat as possible. And, um, and then you'll have a, a beautiful package that will work well with your object. You can also um, use the graphics on this, so save them separately when we get into the rendering process. And I'll talk about that part where you will have a rendered version of your packaging behind your object as well. Um, using the same graphics that you've used on the object um, in physical form. So that is basically it. It's a relatively simple process. If you all don't know how to use the Photoshop elements that I've used here, um, I, I think you'll be okay. <laughs> you should definitely know how to use them by now. So this is kind of um, uh, just a very brief but yet spectacular way of making packaging. Thank you very much.